Okay. I was first approached about a year ago by the General Foods Fund, which inquired whether we would be interested in organizing a scholarly colloquium on global food issues to take place at the time of the awarding of this prize. We indicated at that time an eagerness to join with General Foods in an effort to focus attention on the vital role that the food chain plays in the lives of people 
around the globe and in the economies of the world. It is our hope that the colloquium and the award will also help to establish an agenda for international action on food issues and to inspire greater efforts on the part of individuals everywhere to help solve the world's food problems. The Smithsonian has, of course, long been engaged in research that's related in various ways to the world's food supplies. There are scientists working side by side with our scientists here in this building from the Department of Agriculture, from the Department of the Interior, from uh, Health and Human Services, uh, whose interests touch very directly on food and its problems. However, the basic research that the Smithsonian itself conducts, carried on by botanists, zoologists, and anthropologists, is for the most part directed toward questions that are generated within disciplines uh, and that are somewhat removed from the component uh, uh, crises of the, of the food cycle as well as its broad sweep. Uh, both the prize and the colloquium help to awaken us here, I would recognize, to the larger context of our own specialized efforts. And I would hope they also have some effect in shifting at least part of our attention toward that larger context. Solutions to these problems, problems that are deep and complex, as well as urgent, uh, are going to be slow in coming. I think we need to recognize that. It seems readily apparent, though, that they are, on the whole, likely to be achieved by drawing on the expertise of specialists from a number of different fields. Heartening examples of this kind of synthesis, like Dr. Swaminathan's remarkable work in India and the Philippines, richly deserve our attention and our formal recognition. It is in order to encourage the kind of interchange necessary for the development of these solutions and to provide recognition for outstanding solutions when they do arise that we are all here today. The Smithsonian is pleased and proud to be part of this effort and to welcome our colleagues at General Foods for this auspicious launching of the General Foods World Food Prize. Now, here to introduce the speakers on the program this evening is Mr. Al Clausey, General Foods Re Senior Vice President Retired and Chairman of the Council of Advisors for the General Foods World Food Prize. Mr. Clausey. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. As a Chairman of the Council of Advisors of the General Foods World Food Prize, I would like to add my welcome to that of Secretary Adams this evening on the occasion of the awarding of the first World Food Prize to Dr. M. S. Swaminathan of India. All of us connected with this prize and with the Smithsonian Colloquium that is being held today and tomorrow are delighted to see all of you here tonight to join us on this joyous occasion to formally present this award, which was announced to the world last June. Special thanks go out to the many ambassadors in our midst who underscore the worldwide nature of this prize, to the members of academia, and government departments from around the world, to the many members of Congress who are here, to our colleagues from the Smithsonian Institution who have shared our commitment and supported our efforts, to our Council of Advisors, to Winrock International, our Secretariat, to the representatives of the international press and to the many representatives of international service organizations who are present to all of our friends and supporters of the World Food Prize. Welcome and thanks to all of you. Now, we have a number of special guests who will be joining me in a few minutes to help us honor Dr. Swaminathan. I would like to name them in order of appearance. You've already heard from Secretary Adams of the Smithsonian. You will be hearing shortly from James L. Ferguson, Chairman of the Executive Committee of General Foods Corporation. 
His Excellency Ambassador P.K. Call of India, the Honorable Richard E. Ling, Secretary of Agriculture of the United States, Dr. Norman E. Borlaug, Distinguished Professor and 1970 Nobel Peace Prize Laureate, and Mr. John Denver, author, composer, entertainer, who was a member of the former U.S. Presidential Commission on World Hunger. We are here tonight to honor a great man and to celebrate the inauguration of a prize that we truly expect will achieve the stature of the Nobel Prize in the area of world food. It carries with it a $200,000 cash award and an original sculpture created by world-renowned designer Saul Bass. It's a prize among prizes that is aimed not only at acknowledging and honoring those who have already made measurable contributions of significance to the world food supply, but it is intended to be a beacon, a, an inspiration to young people and thought leaders throughout the world to dedicate themselves to addressing food issues wherever they are, an inspiration to people who will bring arid lands to life who will break cycles of hunger and starvation, pioneers who will beat down the barriers of knowledge and resistance to our most basic need, nutritious, healthful, adequate food for all people, heroes of our age and the ages to come on this earth. Tonight, we salute one of them. In the future, we will salute others. Thank you very much. Before I introduce our speakers, I would like to ask you to join me in welcoming members of Dr. Swaminathan's family, his wife, Meena, who has joined us from India, two of his daughters, two of his sons-in-law, and and others of his family. Would you please rise? <laughs> now, ladies, my uh, ladies and gentlemen, it is my great honor to introduce to you the first of our speakers, Mr. James L. Ferguson, Chairman of the Executive